time. Hi. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Finally doing what I've always wanted to do, go fish Baffin Bay. Got Mr. Bryson Becker taking us out on the Haney. Got the Pops and Ben. And uh, we're gonna go have a good day of fishing. So, this is my first time ever in the Baffin, and I'm super pumped. Get these mole man bait coolers and hopefully wear them out. So, y'all go check these out. Uh, we're selling bundle bags, and every bag sold gets you entered to win a free fishing trip. So, yeah, we're doing that too. If you buy a bundle bag, they get you what is that, 10 bags? 10 entries. So, y'all go check it out, but uh, stay tuned, enjoy, and I uh, hope we catch. A bunch of fish. All right, guys, before we get into some awesome fishing action, I want to let you know about today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Jackery. I've seen them in the past. I love Jackery, love working with them, and I think everybody in America should own one of these in their home. Jackery is a portable power station. You can see how light that was. I just lifted it up like it was nothing. This one happens to be the Mac Daddy 1500. This is the biggest power station that Jackery makes. You got your AC outlets, USB C, your DC 12 volt plug. Uh, you got a little display screen right here. It shows you your percentage uh, and the output and input that you're using. Um, ha also has a light on the front right here. Little guy right there. So when you're carrying it, you have a light. If you're carrying around camp, whatnot, uh, or if your power's out in your house and you need to take it to another room, you have a light to take it with. Um, so this thing is awesome for power outages, uh, camping, off-grid camping, uh, it's something great to have in your truck as well. I keep it in my truck 90% of the time. Um, I can use it to charge my laptops, cameras, everything that I need to film these hunts and all these hunts that I go on, this goes with me. Uh, literally saves the day all the time, more than you would think. So the reason that I wanted to tell you guys about Jackery is because they are having an awesome Christmas sale and I think this is probably one of the best Christmas gifts you can give to family, uh, family or friends. So you can get 15% off right now from December 6th through the 10th. You can get um, the portable power station and I suggest you get the solar panels to go with it. Because obviously you have to have power to charge this if you don't have stuff, if you don't have solar panels. So if you have an outage and you have the solar panels, you don't need any electricity. You can charge this bad boy right up and uh, then you can charge everything you need off of this. Something that you need to uh, basically stay alive in a bad situation. Uh, or in a good situation in a camping setting, you can run all your stuff that you need to to have a comfortable campsite with your family. Like I said, I take it everywhere with me. They have a lot of options when it comes to power stations. You can start off with the entry level Explorer 250 and it goes all the way up to the Explorer 1500. So charging with the 250, charging minimal things all the way up to the 1500 where I can literally run my uh, toy hauler off of. Uh, so you go on there and pick out which one you want, say 15%. Huge thank you to Jackery for sponsoring this video. Y'all go check them out. Don't miss out on this Christmas sale. Uh, it will be linked in the description. Click that link and you can go there and get yourself a Jackery for friends, family, or yourself. I highly suggest that everybody has one. And I also think it makes a great gift. So let's get back to fishing. And uh, thanks again, Jackery. <laughs> Little little jog there. Not a bad little run out. No, but we are at the first spot. We got sun coming up. Beautiful. We are targeting big trout this morning. So first couple hours of fishing, we're gonna target big boys and big girls. I mean, so we're gonna be uh, just picking this little piece apart, and then we're gonna go fill the box up after that. So hopefully somebody cooks into a big one. I'd love to catch my personal best today, but we'll see. Where are we working? Which way are we working? Good keeper. Like a taco right there. 
I don't know if he'll keep. Digging? He'll eat. It's a good one. It's a good trout. Dude, that's a huge trout. That is a huge trout. Here, give me a net. That's why you come to bath and right there. Look at that fish. Where do you think he is? 22? <laughs> That's a stud. Another big one. Good eating size. Did you miss one? Yeah. The 30s, when a 30 hit, you'll literally feel it. You'll feel it in your collarbone. Yeah. Like they knock you. Well, I'm ready to feel that one day. Yeah, like five feet from you. We well, got four now. Here you go, Ben. Oh, he spit it right there. I never got a good hook set on him. Throwing the dirty dom right now. Swim bait. You like it? Oh, drum. Yeah. He's a keeper though. <laughs> You're catching all kinds of species, dude. Right, give me Hey, okay, that right there is the best ceviche ever. Really? Yeah, hold it. Ow. Drone, huh? He smashed it. Yeah. You see this I know. Ben's been killing him yeah. over here. Trout. The old net for you. Don't reel all it. Yeah, don't reel up anymore. Drum? Is it another drum? Oh, it's a little red. Oh, Your first red, dude. Not with these species. Hold up. Rat red. Rat row. Dad's on. Oh. You come off? Yep. What? First ever red. Well, you gotta get a picture of it. Look how it's blue tail. Yeah. They eat blue crap. Yeah, that's what I mean. I don't know. Sounds right. Oh yeah, big trout. Mullet man bait co baby. No, I got him. No, it's big co. That's 
take it. Choking mullet man bait codes. If you ain't first, you're last. Oh my gosh. No! Dang it, I may have lost all of them. I don't know. He's still on there barely. I gotta find, I gotta try to work him up. Oh, he's about to swim off of it. Ah, he came off. Dang it! I know, I did that yesterday. Then they have a giant on. He just stripped and dragged. Just keep it tight. Make sure you keep it tight. Please be a big trout. Holy cow, maybe a red. What is it? What is it? Red fish. Is it red? I think so. Oh my gosh, is that a trout? Easy, 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 easy. Oh yeah, it's a big red. Big red! Keep a red. Hey, don't get yeah. Get him over here, get him over here. Yeah. Oh my god. There you go, Holy dude. Crap, dude. That's a perfect keep of red. <laughs> yeah. That thing's pretty sweet. We'll get pictures of the boat. I don't want to lose it. Hey, that thing is gnarly. Nope, redfish. That red. No, 20. 20. Perfect spot on him. Big red. Keeper. Huh? Yeah. I'm huh? Oh yeah. Trout, dude. Head shakes. I don't know. I had big head shakes. Huh? Probably. Dedamonte is going home with some meat. That's right. Oh, my balls cold. <laughs> that went all the way down, didn't it? Yeah. Dang it. Right on that rock. Huh? 
Is your phone in? That stinks. Cold? Pretty chilly. Ah. In mud, I just stepped up one. Like... Why'd you have to talk about it, man? Break the lull. Good one? Well guys, I'm headed back. I just got back to the boat, they're all still fishing. I came and got the boat, I'm gonna go pick them up. Been an awesome morning. I think we have six or seven trout, a drum, a couple big reds. So, we got meat to take home for show. But I think that's the end of the day. It's the fishing kinda really just came to a halt. So, I'm gonna pick these guys up and uh, we'll see what the next next plan is maybe we'll go hit another spot there's rain off in the distance but if not it was an awesome morning first time ever in baffin and uh it's awesome i'll be back what did you think of baffin ben i had a pretty dang good day my first redfish ever big redfish too yeah it was a good red and then caught a trout caught another drum i mean what more could you ask for it's a great day it's time to get out of here about to take off, got like a 30 mile run back to the dock, and then I'll see you guys when we're cleaning these fish up. Well, we made it back to the house. Pretty night. Got deer over here, got a little buck, a couple does, and uh, it's time to clean fish. So I'm gonna show you how to clean a trout, and I'm gonna show you how to clean a red. Big old trout. Show you one of these. Buzzing. Trout are super easy to clean. Go down to the backbone, and then you wanna go sideways with your knife, go down, make your knife flat on that backbone, and you just cut all the way down. Just like that. Come over here to this other side. This little white sack right here. It's super sticky and just like rubber and your knife won't go through it good. So Trout Kevlar. Same thing on this side. Just like that. Clean trout. Now we come in here. Just run your knife between that meat and skin. Just like that. And then you want to cut your ribs out. And that is all you do. That's how you clean a speckled trout. I hear some geese. Too hot for geese right now. Cut those ribs out. That's it. So that's how you clean a trout now. Clean a redfish. I'll show you two ways you can clean a redfish. First way is on the half shell. Just like you did the trout. Come in here. I'm gonna need a stiffer knife. Yeah. Cut down and across. And the same thing we just did with that trout. Cut through those ribs. So you wanna cut through those ribs and then just cut all the way down the length of the fish. This is what we call redfish on the half shell. All you gotta do is cut your ribs out. Yeah, I got some backbone in there. Cut your ribs out of there. Hey, 
good. Just like that. And that is a clean red fish on the half shell. And then the other way you can do it. Same thing. But we'll take the skin off. And I like to go around the ribs when I do it like this. So you want to follow that backbone, get past the ribs, pop through to that other side. And then just work. Work your knife down and then you want to work your knife up and over those ribs. Just like that. And you want to take your meat off that skin. This is just a red fish fillet. Got some pin bones in there. And that is how you clean a redfish. So I'll clean the rest of these fish up and I'll catch you guys in the kitchen. All right guys, great day on bathroom and we're back cooking dinner, cooking lunch actually. Um, got some trout here. I got some fresh boudin on the grill. We're gonna do a little blackened trout and I made up some pineapple chutney. Got onions, tomatoes, avocados, and uh, pineapple. So just make these into portion size. Gonna take some critter glitter, fish and fowl, and uh, we're gonna give it a really nice coat. So you, for blackened fish, you really wanna get that seasoning on there thick. And uh, in the pan, we got some olive oil and butter. So we'll get these fish fillets cooked up and then uh, be eating good. Y'all can get this at moldman.net. Critter glitter. Fish and fowl. Perfect Christmas gift. And uh, it's delicious. So take a few pieces at a time. Bring them in there. Let them cook up. And then uh, we'll do a taste test in a minute. Alright. Fish is done. Boudin's done. Got a little toppings over here take you a slice of fish a little boudin action and then put you this some of this over that fish just like that perfect that's my plate i'm gonna make shed crazy a plate and we'll let him do the testing you want a big piece don't you of course it's a good one right there baby's tired so sad. Sorry for the background noise, but we'll do a little taste testing. See if we can get through this. One out of ten. Trout. Your first trout this ever. This is trout. This is the first. Yeah. You've never had. Not one of these trout. Sea trout. Had lots of trout. trout. Blackened. Oh boy. Solid man. Good. Woo. I like it. Better than freshwater fish, huh? Yeah, definitely. Like has a cleaner taste to it. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a. 9.3. Ooh, that's high. All right, let me get a fork. I'll be done with mine before you taste yours. Give me a fork, give me a fork. Little pineapple. Gotta get some pineapple in there. One out of 10. Nine point oh for sure. That was delicious. But we'll have to say boudin is one of my favorite things in the world to eat, so I'm ready to dig into that. We got some poppers on the grill too, waiting on them. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, big thanks to Bryson Becker for taking us out to Baffin. Had a blast, and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Y'all go check out Ben. Uh, he'll have some videos up from Texas as well. He'll be linked in the description. But go to moltman.net, get your critter glitter, and uh, see you in the next video. Stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up. And remember, eat good.